So what do you think about the service? Like you said, right now service is more deteriorating because of uh, <coughs> many people just using for the uh, cheap, inexpensive hospitality. But because of the service don't have any program, like you know, Habitat, Habitat for the Humanity, they have a good program to building house for the needed family. Right, right. So I think if service really have a program like a Habitat program, Habitat for Humanity. I totally agree <coughs> with you. And <clears throat> I have been pushing and writing, I write articles and they print the articles and say, how nice your article is, Bob. <laughs> and that's where they all end. But <clears throat> I believe that unless service can reawaken the vi early vision, mm -hmm. they're going to lose by default. Because these other mm -hmm. groups that don't have Oh, as much overhead, mm -hmm. are better organized. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, they use computer communications, right. which several of us was afraid to do uh, because of our conservative membership. They're going to just push several of us out the back door. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, let me put it on a positive basis. Imagine that I like to imagine several of us suddenly getting a great, inciting vision. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, they would uh, think about peace building. And they would think about how can we reach a, a new generation. Mm -hmm. Young generations. Servas has become an old people's organization to a large degree. And I can imagine on all the college campuses around the world, peace builders teams. They're a part of Servas mm -hmm. where the students come together and they work on issues like environmental issues and race relations. Mm -hmm. And the, basically what I think is peace building is dealing with the causes of war. It's not just shouting, war's wrong, I'm going to refuse to fight. Mm -hmm. It is building a society where people aren't using each other. I thought Servas would be peace builders, people who were determined to create a just and a, and, and a good society. Right. But it's so much easier just to complain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Complaints are just, just for the, you know, against the war. Complaints. Uh, but I think actually to make a peace with actions. That's much more actions. difficult. Right. right. And, and, and look, at the, look at the situation today. The, 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 there's a tremendous amount of anti-Bush and anti-government and so on, but how much of that is building some, an alternative? Right. Peace builders teams. Uh -huh. It wasn't mine, it was a Quaker idea in the in, in, in U.S. The idea that people in a, in a particular uh, community would come together and form this kind of sharing team that, that I was telling about they would both have intercultural learning and at the same time have a project to go out and do something constructive mm -hmm. for, the, uh, for the community. Mm -hmm. I think there's an awful lot of young people on our planet today who see the, 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 the way the, we're tearing up the environment, the way we're creating rich and starving poor. They see it, but they don't feel they know what to do about it. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, that's what they're looking for, is some light in the darkness. And that's where the Cerebus Peace Builders team could provide if we could somehow find a way. And I don't think it's going to happen within Cerebus. It's going to happen by people like you starting a new group. And fly under the name of Cerebus, sure, but not under the management of the top Servas people are good-hearted people, but don't shake me too hard. I'm comfortable, thank you. <laughs> Every person is, grows up in an ethnic cage. Mm -hmm. they're, they're the, the ideas and the values and the language and everything that they grow up with It's good in one way, but in other ways it puts a, 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 
cocoon around them uh -huh. where they are limited in their understanding of the larger picture and the mm -hmm. larger world. Mm -hmm. And I felt that Servas was a way to help people get out of their ethnic cage mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. see the humanity as a whole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, my philosophy is I'm a human being and when I travel, I'm not traveling. I happen to have an American passport because I can't get a global passport. That's true. And I never pose as an American. Uh -huh. I want to, I'm a human being and I respect people and I want them to respect me as a human being. Villages. When I go to another country, mm -hmm. to me the most interesting thing isn't the cities. They're all very much similar. But to go out into the villages and get to know the village craftspeople right. and to get to know the village farmers and the children mm -hmm. and, and, and their life and their customs, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. And that, was a, that experience was what convinced me that Servas could be a powerful educational program. Mm -hmm. And in the big... And when, <clears throat> And jumping ahead, when we were in Birmingham, England, we, we specified that Servas was not a hospitality program, but a work-study-travel program, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is fundamentally different. Right. And, and, and the people that traveled used it would be fundamentally different. Mm -hmm. And so over the years, Servas has gone more and more into being a low-cost hospitality program for uh, comfortable middle-class people and almost totally forgotten the fact that they're supposed to be built on a program to w people to study how we can build a peaceful world and I, I'm pretty unhappy because they, they have these slogans they, they say uh, when I question it they say well go meeting people from other countries is creating peace and I say, sure, I said, American Civil War, they were shooting each other and some of them were cousins or even brothers. And knowing each other doesn't necessarily make peace. <laughs> but uh, they don't want to hear that and uh, I've never heard them argue it. They just uh, forget it. <laughs> well, what is the purpose of this organization you're working for? And I spent 20 minutes telling him about Gandhian philosophy. Mm -hmm. The idea that society is transformed by people building an alternative communities within the cracks of the old. Mm -hmm. Believing in the goodness of all people by recognizing everybody has a divine light within them and by recognizing that reaching out and helping them to understand the best in themselves they can solve all kinds of problems other people couldn't come near solving. 